Hi, so here we are going to solve a problem based on counting principles. So it is a very simple problem and it has four parts. Here we have to find the number of two digits, even numbers, odd numbers, even numbers with distinct digits and odd numbers with distinct digits, right? So how do we solve it? A two digit even number will have two places. Let me make two boxes. One is one's place and this one is tens place. Right? And what we have to find? We have to find the number of even numbers which have two digits. Then these places can be filled with 0, 1, 2, 3, 8 and 9. Right? Only one condition. This 0 cannot come in tens place because if it comes in tens place, it converts this number into a single digit number. So 0 cannot come in tens place. That we have to remember. Right? And what we have to find? First, we have to find the total number of even numbers made up of two digits. The digits which can come on one's place can either be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. These are the five choices for the ones place and if we talk about tens place will not have a zero in this set right we can have one two three four five six seven eight and nine and we have to fill both the places so ones place can be filled in five possible ways right and tens place can be filled in nine possible ways right so we have five choices for one's place and for every choice in one's place we have nine different choices in tens place and we have to fill both one's place and tens place that means the total number of even numbers will be equal to the number of choices for one's place that is five and that means multiplied by the number of choices for the tens place which is nine and this will be equal to nine fives of 45. There will be total 45 two digit even numbers which are possible right and similarly if we talk about two digit odd numbers the choices for one's place will have a different set now. For odd numbers at one's place we can have one, we can have three, we can have five, we can have seven and we can have nine. And for the tens place again we'll have choices from one to nine. So again we have five choices for one's place and nine choices for tens place. So the total number of odd numbers will be again 45 right so there will be 45 even numbers and 45 odd numbers among the two digit numbers right yes yes we know that every alternate number is even number and every alternate number is odd number and from 10 to 99 total possible numbers are 99 minus 10 plus 1 that is 90 there are total 92 digit numbers and half of them are even numbers and half of them are odd numbers and that is why we have 45 even numbers and 45 odd numbers out of these 92 digit numbers right this was very simple and after this we have to find the even numbers with distinct digits right here the calculation becomes a little tricky so let me erase all this so again we have two places to fill and these are the all the possible digits which can fill up these two places right but here we have a restriction restriction is the digits of the even number should be distinct that means we can't have even numbers like 22 44 66 or 88 so actually you can directly find out the number of even numbers which have distinct digits right from here these are the only four even numbers where the digits are repeated so total even numbers with distinct digits will actually be equal to 45 minus 4 that is 41 right this is the direct calculation but how to follow the logic so let me erase this again and now we will find how to calculate it by using logic. Here you are asked to find only two digit numbers. It was easy but if you are asked to find the three digit or four digit numbers then this kind of calculations cannot be done and that is why we are going to learn the logic how to calculate the even numbers with distinct digits. Right? For one's place we will have choices like 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. And for tens place, we'll have choices like yes, one, two. These will be the nine choices for tens place, right? Now, we know that zero cannot come at tens place, but if zero comes at ones place, 
if one's place has zero then we have total nine choices for the tens place right that means there are total nine even numbers are possible with zero at one's place right but if we have a number other than zero at units place like two four six and eight if we have any one out of these four our choices for tens place will actually get reduced by one right if we have two at one's place we cannot have two at tens place if we have four at one's place we cannot have four at tens place so in that case the choices for one's place will be four and the choices for tens place will be eight zero cannot come right that means the total number of two digit even numbers with distinct digits will actually be 4 multiplied by 8 that is 32 so 32 even numbers are possible which don't have 0 at units place and 9 even numbers will be there which will have 0 at units place that means total two digit numbers with distinct digits will actually be 32 plus 9 that is 41 and this is what we got earlier also right so the even numbers with distinct digits will actually be 41 32 by following this calculation and 9 when we have 0 at units place right so there are total 41 two digit even numbers possible with distinct digits right and now let's calculate the number of odd numbers with distinct digits so let me erase all this so when we are talking about the odd numbers our set of digits possible at units place will change and here we will have 1 3 5 7 and 9 these will be the five possible choices for ones place and these are the nine possible choices for the tens place right but if we have one at ones place we cannot have one at tens place because we are talking about the odd numbers made up of distinct digits right and if we have three at ones place then we cannot have three at tens place right so if the choices for ones place are five then the choices for tens place will actually be one less than nine which will have all the digits from the set other than the digit which you have used at one's place so here you'll have total eight choices possible for the tens place that means the total number of odd numbers with distinct digits will actually be equal to five multiplied by eight that is 40 right that means we'll have 40 odd numbers with distinct digits so which odd numbers we are actually not counting over here we are not counting 11 we are not counting 33 we are not counting 55 and we are not counting 77 and at the same time we are also not counting 99 so these are the five odd numbers which we are not counting over here and the total number of odd numbers possible will be 40 which will have distinct digits right so this was a solved example here we have learned how to look at the possible choices and then take the decisions and do the counting right so this was a simple problem we are going to take few more problems to get the feel of the subject so keep watching math smart and bye till then